Greetings and welcome to an R video. In this brief video, I'm going to show you how to take values that are coded missing with a number um, and replace them in R with NAs, which is the symbol that R uses to indicate that a variable is missing. Um, so the we're going to use a couple of packages here, one in tidyverse, uh, which is dplyr, but if you install and load tidyverse, that'd be great. And we're going to use janitor just because I like the tabyl tables more than the um, base r tables. But um, you may not need any of those packages if you just want to use the na underscore if command. Um, so say your data set, your data frame, has a universal missing code, like negative 999, and every variable that's missing data in your data set, the missing value is negative 999. In that circumstance, you could just run na underscore if, left parentheses, the name of your data set, so the data I'm working with is ANES, comma, and then whatever that universal code for missing is, so maybe it's negative 999, and then write parentheses to close out the parentheses. So a very simple line of code, and it'll replace every instance of the number negative 999 in the ANES data set with NAs to indicate that the variable is missing. But actually, in the ANES data set, that's not always how missing values are coded. So if we look at the RR1 variable, it's actually a 1 to 5 agreement scale, and the four people who didn't respond to that question were coded 9. In other places in the data set, 9 is an actual valid response. And so we don't want to universally replace all 9s with NAs, because in some variables we would be replacing actual responses with NAs, um, and in others, we would be replacing this code for missing. So if you want to target a specific variable to do a specific uh, replacement, then you can do um, ANES dollar sign RR1. So ANES is the name of the data set, um, and RR1 is the name of the variable, equals NA underscore if parentheses, ANES RR1, comma, and then the number that you want to be replaced with NA. So in this instance, it's a 9. We want the 9 to be replaced with NA, and then close the parentheses. And what that tells R to do is it says, in the data set ANES, I want you to create a variable named RR1. Since RR1 already exists, it'll replace the existing variable with the new one. Uh, so if you wanted to create a different one, you could say maybe like RR1R or RR1.5, and it would create a new variable. But if you just leave it RR1, it'll write over the old variable, and what it will do is it will take the existing RR1 variable in the ANES data set, and every time there's a 9, it'll replace it with an NA. So if we run that and then look at that table again, we can see that we still have all of the 1 through 5 variables, but those 9s have been replaced with NAs. Now, in the same ANES data set, we can look at the JBCares variable and see that actually 9 isn't used to indicate that it, the variable is missing. They use the number 99 to indicate that the score is missing. So we would run the same command, ANES dollar sign JB cares equals NA if parentheses ANES dollar sign JB cares comma, but then we would change it to 99 because in this instance 99 is the indication of missingness and then close out the parentheses. And so if we run that, we can see that the 99s were replaced with NAs. Now, if you have a lot of variables that you need to uh, make this replacement on, you can use the mutate at function from dplyr, which is part of the tidyverse set of packages, um, to run this function on a lot of variables at once. And so you can say, okay, create a data set called ANES using the data set ANES, 
So that would be ANES equals ANES. You're basically saying write a new data set over the old data set. And then your pipe, so the percent greater than sign percent. And then on another line, mutate underscore at. And then parentheses. And then you're going to list within the parentheses all of the variables that you want to run this function on. And so to list anything in R, you do C parentheses, and then name the variables you want in uh, quotation marks. So it would be uh, quotation mark RR1, end quotation, comma, left quotation RR2, right quotation, comma, left quotation RR3, right quotation, comma, left quotation RR4, right quotation. And then you close out the parentheses on the C parentheses listing, and then you can put a comma, and then here I have it on a new line, FUNS for, I believe that, I'm pretty sure that means functions, and then parentheses, and then you put NA underscore if, a new parentheses, and then put a dot, comma, nine. And that'll say, okay, for all of the variables listed above, replace the nine. And then you just have to close out the parentheses on that dot, comma, nine, close out the parentheses on the NA if, and close out the parentheses on the mutate at. So it ends with three right parentheses. And that line of code, or th this section of code, will replace all of the NAs, or all of the nines in the variables listed with an NA. And so that is maybe a more efficient way to do it, especially if you're working with, you know, maybe 11 or 12 or 15 variables, and you don't want to copy and paste the single uh, NAF line of code, you know, 12, 15 times, you can just list out the variables using the mutate at function as part of the tidyverse. So, I hope that that was a useful and interesting explanation about how to replace missing values with NAs so that R understands that they are actually missing values. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a good one.